guys, you're welcome to another episode of Freshly Speaking with Glory. Just give me a second. All right. Yeah, I had to wet my throat because of today's topic. So, um, I learned something from my boss last week. He said in the course of one of our meetings, he said, you do not have to love your colleague, but you should respect them because you work together. So in the work environment, throw the respect around, let it go around to everybody. And then after the work, go crazy out there. And I thought about it and I'm like, wow, this is 100% exactly this is 100 percent so today's topic is going to be on how to deal with workplace madness honestly trust me i do not know about other environments out there in the world but when it comes to nigerian workplace environment oh my god there's a lot of madness going around and some people it, for some people, it looks like they wake up in the morning and then they plan, they deliberately plan on how to go crazy, on how to bring madness from their houses to the work environment. Well, here are some tips coming from me to you on how to deal with such madness. So first of all, you go to work in the morning and you see some people who wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Come on, it is not your fault. So they won't start feeling guilty already. And then you see that these people, when they walk into the office, they put up such attitude, you know, that is so toxic that you can't even go close to them. And then there are these other ones who feel like, oh my God, we are the king of kings and the queens of queens. So we have to throw around our negativity up and down so that people will know that without us, the company cannot exist. Listen, my advice to you people is just ignore. Ignore. And the thing about ignoring such people is that they can't take it yeah and then it makes them feel really 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 small and then there are those ones who are very very physical and touchy touchy you know you go to work and it comes mostly from guys you know they come to work and then they feel like all the girls in the office are pillows you know pillows so you see them when they are going around they just want to touch they just want to press 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 i mean i got this very funny chat from a friend of mine last week and then she was complaining like i'm gonna be mean i'm gonna be savage i'm like hey babe chill what's up and she said look at this particular guy in my office so anytime he's passing around he's always coming to massage my shoulders i'm like seriously did you put on your forehead that hey office masseuse needed and now she's like i feel so violated i'm like look babe Chill in the office when you go outside. How mad the guy want dirty slap? He not go feel touch you. Anyways, I was just kidding. But then I just advised her to give the guy a piece of her mind. And yes, such things exist in, in the work environment. That those people who are very, very physical and touchy, touchy. Look, the truth is, it's rude to touch people around like that in the office. There are people who guard their spaces. There are people who do not like to be really, really physical. They can engage with you verbally, all right? But then you do not have to be physical by touching them. Because it makes them very uncomfortable. So in the work environment, you meet crazy people like that. Who just want to be physical. So my advice to you on how to deal with such people is... Whenever they come around you and then you just want to hug you or put their hands on your shoulders or just massage your shoulders like you need help, you just, shush, shush, shush. I don't need that. Yeah, you shush them away because they are like mosquitoes, they are like pests. They keep just disturbing the, the peace of mind that you're trying to create in the work environment. Yeah, another set of people you meet are those people who are entitled. I call them entitled assholes. Yeah, because they feel so entitled to the point that when they come to the office, they put the age gap between you and them in their faces, on their foreheads. They carry like a placard around, a virtual placard. Yeah, you want to talk to them, they always make it known to you like, look, I am not your age miss. You cannot be talking to me like that. It is so irritating. Yeah, I mean, people like that, I just feel like, look, they should have a community of their own. Where it is only people when people like them in their 50s or 60s or 40s that will be working and not existing in the work environment where fresh minds need to operate. Yeah, so you will definitely meet people like that in the work environment. Those entitled assholes who always feel like, hey, I'm older than you. So when it comes to sharing of ideas, my idea is bigger than yours. My thoughts are bigger than yours. Bullshit them. What do you do with such people? Ignore them. Mm -hmm. Ignore is the key. Ignore is the answer. And the other set of people that you're going to meet are those married class people. You see those ones? 
yeah we have the good ones and the bad ones in that category but then the bad ones are so annoying yes you see those ones when they're having conversations they make it look like oh my god this conversation is strictly for married people because you single people will not understand well hello before you got married you were once single so stop acting like a douchebag so guys really you're gonna meet those those set of people in the work environment you know they feel like because they are married all of a sudden they are automatically elevated to this high pedestal that makes them superior in knowledge superior in technicalities and skills superior in matters that even has to do with your own work your own niche it's not even something that they know about all oh, they just feel like suddenly because they are married and they have kids they know more than you my god my advice to you on how to deal with such people is ignore whatever they bring their to to no attitude to you ignore yeah i'm not saying that you should be bitchy you know to everybody that comes around you in the work environment but i'm just only trying to help you identify these categories of people in the work environment and how to deal with them yeah and sometimes too guys it would be fun to give them a piece of your mind but then you don't want to go about looking like the crazy person because these set of people that i have mentioned they do not know that they have a problem they do not know and they do not accept that they have a problem so when you react to whatever they are doing they automatically keep quiet and make you look like the crazy person so what do you do be proactive you already know who they are you've studied them from afar and you know that those ones they have mental kids so what do you do ignore totally ignore and then you also have the category of village language community speakers users whatever i don't even know what to call them but these are the set of people that they come to work and then they feel like from morning till night, you're going to communicate in our dialect. We don't want to speak English to anybody. We don't want to communicate with anybody except with our dialect. Well, I have made a video already about if it's right using, you know, your dialect or your language in the work environment. I have that link to below in the description box. So guys, you will meet those kind of people in the work environment. They only feel like their own dialect is the best form of communication. Well, hello, you using your dialect to communicate in the work environment. Honestly, I feel like it's noise. It is noise. If you're using your dialect only, then please, you should just relocate to your village and commune with your village people and stay there and don't even come back but then when you come to a civilized environment where you should speak english to create a stronger and better work relationship with your colleagues your boss and every other person and you feel like no you just want to continue being in your own language zone well sorry i feel like it doesn't really work for me so guys you're gonna meet such people so when you meet such people don't be sad don't be upset what do you do face your work you see those ones who ones who are ready and willing to speak english with you who are ready to speak a language that you understand go ahead and communicate with them it doesn't matter what continues right anyways guys that and those are my tips on how to deal with madness in the work environment if you have any more tips like that that you want to share please do so by putting it below in the comment section if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please click on the red subscribe button below and also do well to turn on your post notifications so that you will get alerts of my videos that i upload i upload on mondays now and on saturdays yeah i had to shift um, my time schedule for my videos because I have just so much going on for it for today's episode of Frankly Speaking with Glory guys. Thanks for watching